Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I have a lot of fascinating things to share with you guys. We're going to start off over here in, in Longview, Washington. This video was sent in by, by Tanya. She looked up and saw this, what appeared to be a single point of light with two small lights to the side of it. And then it got closer. Look what happens. This thing, whatever it was, was surrounded by multiple lights, and she was standing outside. She's not behind glass. That's not creating this, this phenomena that we're seeing in the sky. She was very taken back by, by whatever that was. She just happened to be in the right place at the right time, looked up, and, and saw that bizarre activity. Check that out. And they weren't making any noise. Wasn't an airplane. Wasn't a helicopter. Doesn't look like a drone. Obviously not a balloon or, or Chinese lanterns, just a bizarre sequence of events above Washington the other night. How about that? Talk about being in the, in the right place at the right time. And there's another prime example of having a high-definition recording device available because that would have been hard to explain to people what she saw in the sky. It wasn't quite dark yet, but you can tell the, the sun was below the horizon. Example number two out of Rogers, Arkansas. Derek Lee looked up and saw this sequence of events going on in the nighttime sky. There was a, a bright light, then it looked like it had a, a tail behind it of three orange lights. He had never seen anything like this before, and I believe he, he submitted his sighting to MUFON. He shared it with me. I analyzed it, zoomed in, looking for any other possible features, and, and all we could see was just the, the bright white light in the front. It appeared to be moving from right to left across the screen, and then it was followed by the bright light, was followed by the, the three orange lights. Todd from Queen Creek, Arizona, looked up and saw this in the nighttime sky. Object, very high speed object, cruising through the sky. It went in the general vicinity of the moon, then disappeared behind that house. It wasn't an airplane, wasn't a helicopter, moving way too fast to be a Chinese lantern. Example number four, more mysterious activity in the nighttime sky. Jennifer Mischke out of northern Kentucky looked up and saw this, this greenish blue fast moving orb. Orb. Actually, there was there was another one. Check this out. Here comes a, a secondary one. Almost looks like a comet, but that's not a comet. That's inside the atmosphere. But it looks like it's got a tail moving through the sky. And then there's that one right there, the brighter one. Excellent video footage here by, by Jennifer out of northern Kentucky who, who captured something rare going on in the nighttime sky. Two mysterious blue objects, one that appeared to have a tail, and then the other bright blue one that remained primarily stationary as if it was observing the activity that was going on in the skies above northern Kentucky. Great job, Jennifer. Thanks for sharing. I want to take you guys now to the surface of Mars. We don't go up here very often, but I got a request from Steve. Stephen Power asked me if I could analyze this, this location that he found, and I said, yes, I'd be glad to. This is the location right here, and here's what he found. He found something that looked like a pyramid, and then he found another location just south of that pyramid that looked like the, the remnants of a building or something. We're going to come back and take a, a closer look at that here in just a moment, but first, the pyramid. Is this a pyramid? Then right here is what looks like a building. Are you serious? Check this out. We're going to start with the pyramid first. Here we go. So all I did was took the original. This is the original. And I made some modifications to the color and lighting. Here we go. So this thing does appear to have symmetrical features. The sides all appear to be the same size, at least the ones we can see. They all meet at the same point up here at the top of what does look like a pyramid. And it could be a intelligently designed pyramid. Then again, it may be a natural artifact. I've seen natural artifacts on Earth that look very similar to that. So that one right there, I wasn't 100% convinced that it was of intelligent origin. However, these over here are a much different story. Once I zoomed in and started adjusting the lighting and color, as you can see right there from the get-go, those appear to be of intelligent origin, for sure. Those are on the surface of Mars. Look at that. I don't think that happened naturally. Once again, this was found by Stephen, sent it to me, and asked me if I could analyze it. And once I got to analyzing that, I was like, wow, 
That definitely looks like an intelligently designed structure. And yes, in my opinion, I do believe that this location right here, what we're looking at, is more than likely of intelligent origin on the surface of Mars. Great find there by, by Stephen Power. Thanks for sharing. Really appreciate that. Have a UV update for those of you that like to follow the UV. Here we go. We're starting off in Wichita, Kansas. Our friend Wes took a reading yesterday. Here we go. It was 11.0. That is considered extreme UV, especially for Kansas. Darren up here in Abbotsford, British Columbia, 11.58. That is also considered extreme UV, especially for his location location at the 50 degree north latitude. I'm down here in the Phoenix area at the 33 degree north latitude. 10.97. Darren's was higher. Wes's was higher than mine out here in Arizona. And they're both higher up the latitude than I am. So Darren yesterday had the highest UV reading up in Abbotsford, British Columbia at the 50 degree north latitude. Have a flash update to share with you guys. The videos keep coming in. This first video has narration by Veronica out of Quebec. Here we go. B333. I'm in Quebec, Canada. There's a power failure, but it's just that there's these flashing lights going on all over this pharmacy. And they told me it's not normal even when the power goes off for there to be this. So have a great day. And as you can see, even during the power outage, the lights were flickering. Example number two. Here we go. Going to Dothan, Alabama. Video footage sent in by Jennifer Maldondo. Looked across the street and noticed several lights underneath the canopy. Maybe all the lights underneath the canopy at that gas station. Flickering and flashing for unknown reasons. And even the lights over here underneath the overhang of the building. Most of the lights at that facility were flickering and flashing for unknown reasons. Like here at this store in Joplin, Missouri. Video footage sent in by Stacy S. from 819 of 2025. She looked across the street and couldn't help but notice these lights over here. Flickering and flashing for unknown reasons. Guys, the videos are still coming in daily. They've been coming in since... Since November of 2024. If you guys have any photos or videos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.